Welcome back everyone. This is Amy with Amy Astro and I am so glad you decided to join me today. We are going to continue with our Freedom Scope build and I will be assembling the whole optical train for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe below. You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram as Amy Astro. So let's get started. All right, everybody, so the next phase of the Freedom Build project is I'm going to swap out the stop focuser and I'm going to install a moonlight focuser. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do this. And it's, it's another wonderful upgrade if you want to get automation and have the computer decide, you know, do your autofocus for you rather than you trying to fidget with these knobs in the middle of the night. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take this out of the rings. All right, so here we go. Remove the scope and set the rings aside. I'm going to set this upright just to make it a little bit easier. But this whole unit separates and there's threads in here. So I can just easily unscrew this to remove it. And I do it this way because if I was to try to do this horizontally, I'm afraid that I'll drop the focuser on the ground and I don't want to do that because this is still a very good focuser. All right, so there's the focus, the stock focuser. There it is, removed, real easy. All right, we'll set that guy aside. Now the moonlight here, see I've got some plastic wrap on here. This is because there's some grease in here in the bearings. That I don't really want to get my hands on. So here's the base of the focuser and this is the adapter flange and you have to purchase these based on which scope you're using. So you just call it Moonlight and you tell them what telescope and they will pair you up with the appropriate flange. And it's just as easy. It's threaded. It's meant to mate onto this telescope. So I can just thread it on here. Nice and snug. I'm going to remove my plastic wrap. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of grease in here, which is by design. I didn't want it on my hands. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Moonlight Focuser on top. And it's just a flange. And it's got three grub screws and a setting screw here. And you just drop this on top. You decide where you want your top to be on the telescope. Let's see. If I made that my top, let's line this up just the way we want it. All right, that looks good. And now I am just going to, with my Allen wrench, go to each one of these grub screws and tighten it down. Now, since this one is made in the USA, it is using standard Allen wrench sizes, where the mount that I did earlier was a metric Allen wrench. So really, in this hobby, you need to have yourself a good set of both. Let's continue tightening these up. I just wanna do it so it stops spinning. All right, almost there. Try to get them all equally tightened together so this will stay nice and centered. There we go. I think that's it. One more time on this one to be sure. Yep, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Okay, now that I have my focuser installed, I need to make sure that my camera is going to mate up to all of this. So it comes with a stock one and a quarter little nose piece here and I'm going to pull that off because I don't want to use one and a quarter. I really want to use the two inch hole here. And what I did is I went online and this is from Amazon and it's Astromania. And it's a nose piece here, it's two inch with, I believe this is an M48 thread pattern on here. So I need that. And then 
The next thing I wanted to do, just to get a little creative here and thinking I'm going to use a one cut color, color, but I'm also planning on swapping out filters through the night. So I'm not sure if this is going to affect my back focus much. This will be a test product here. But I picked up this Starzonia filter holder. Now here's the funny part. This is meant to mate with the ZWO and a Raza. So is this my first Raza piece? Ah, who knows? Don't know what's in my future, but it works perfect with this application. I'll put the holder back in here. So what I needed was an adapter for M42 to M48. And I'm going to put it on my nose piece here. And I'm going to thread it on. Alright, so now he's on there. What came in the ZWO case were some of these little gaskets. And this will help me take this off later in the future if I need to. It keeps it from seizing up on me. And I am going to thread the Starzonia filter holder. So now you see it's attached to a two inch nose piece and it will slide right in here, no problem whatsoever. But I've got to get my camera attached to this. So my camera, out of the box, here is a ZWO ASI 183 Color Cool Pro. And let's see, let's take off the cover. And this piece here, it won't mate. It has the wrong thread types. But if I take it off, because it was designed to mate with the ZWO, actually quite flush, I can just thread this on like this. And there it is. My camera is now attached to the filter shelf, filter holder, and I can install it just like so and tighten up these little grub type screws here so it doesn't go anywhere. Just like that, I have added myself a filter holder for when I decide to open up. Here we go. Let's see what this is all about. First time opening the Altair Astro Tri-Band 2-inch filter. All right. There we go. Nice little filter there. Now we are going to take it out. Let's see. See the filter there? It's got this nice little mirror sheen on it. I'm going to take my filter holder out and I'm going to thread it in just like so. So even though some things are branded for another purpose like the Raza, it works perfect for this. Now I've got my filter holder in here and I snap it in and just like that. So when I'm doing my test with the um, tri-band filter and the Optolong or an L Enhance, I can, in the middle of the night, just pull this drawer out, swap it out, and go. And in fact, I think I can even buy extra holders here for this. So I can just have it all set up ready to swap out just like that. It doesn't get any easier. So now I have automated this telescope here with a moonlight motorized focuser and I've simplified my swapping out of the filters and now we just need to put it back in the rings. And I'll line this up just like so. Now I'll have to shift this you know to get my weight balance and all that but I'll worry about weight balance a little bit later and just like this we are done. Stock focuser removed, auto focuser installed, filter holder on. Just like that. Easy upgrade. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, check that uh, alert bell so you know when I upload the next part of the series for building my freedom scope. I do appreciate you spending the time with me and I look forward to uh, joining you all joining me next time I'm doing a video. So my name is Amy and I'm with Amy Astro. I'm wishing you all some very clear skies and until next time, I'll see you real soon.